cuttings are a quick and cheap way to propagate plants. Most of us know that if you want to improve the chances that your plant roots successfully, you should use a rooting hormone. What if you run out or can't get to the store? Try making a natural rooting hormone alternative. You can easily buy this product at your local garden store but many people are choosing to make their own. The best part is, you can make it from materials that are probably already lying around your house. Natural rooting hormones present in plants are called auxins, and they're made up of indole-3-acetic acid or indole-3-butyric acid. Synthetic rooting hormones that can be used to replicate the effects of natural auxins are alpha-naphthalene-acetic acid and 2,4-dichlorophenoxyacetic acid. These encourage roots to form in the same way that natural auxins in the plant do. Most plants will form roots naturally because that's what the auxins in them are there to help with. But rooting hormones can help increase the number and strength of the roots, as well as shorten the time it takes them to form. Woody cuttings tend to be more difficult to root, while softwood or herbaceous cuttings tend to root more easily, whether you use a hormone or not. You can buy synthetic rooting hormones to encourage your cuttings to form roots. But sometimes you want to go the natural route. Or maybe you ran out of the synthetic stuff in the middle of planting cuttings. Maybe you just want to save money. That's when these natural rooting hormone alternatives come in handy. Regardless of which of the solutions you use, it helps to poke a hole in the soil using a pencil or chopsticks. Then, dip the cut end of the plant in the rooting solution and insert it into the hole. That way, less of the solution is displaced by the soil. Apple cider vinegar contains naphthalene acetic acid, which has been shown in studies to be effective at encouraging rooting. To make apple cider vinegar rooting hormone, combine 3 teaspoons of apple cider vinegar with 1 gallon of water and also, dip your cuttings into the liquid and plant right away. Cinnamon powder and essential oil have ability to kill bacteria and fungus. Studies show that the essential oil has powerful antibacterial and antifungal properties. While this isn't technically a rooting hormone, cinnamon helps cuttings survive by killing bacteria and fungus so the roots can develop. That's what makes it an effective rooting hormone alternative. For that, dip just the end of the cutting in one part cinnamon essential oil mixed with 10 parts water. There are no studies showing the effectiveness of cinnamon powder on plants. All you need to do is sprinkle a small amount over the end of the cutting and plant the cutting in soil or a planting medium. You can also make the hole in advance and sprinkle a little cinnamon in the hole. Honey isn't a rooting hormone, but it makes an effective rooting hormone alternative for several reasons. In a study at the University of Hawaii, researchers found that cuttings of certain plants dipped in honey prior to planting rooted better, though it didn't help all species of plants in the study. Another study found that unpasteurized honey worked best and had a good impact on root growth. Honey is also known to have excellent antibacterial and antifungal properties, so it helps protect developing roots from bad pathogens. For that, Dip the end of the cutting in one part unpasteurized honey and four parts water to coat it and then plant as normal. Growing an aloe vera plant indoors or out is notoriously simple, so you may already have easy access to aloe vera whenever you'd like. It's also affordable to buy, and most people keep it on hand in their medicine cabinet. Aloe vera is ideal as a rooting hormone alternative because it contains glucomannans, amino acids, sterols, and vitamins. Studies show that these help many types of species. Develop more and stronger roots when growing cuttings or propagating via air layering. A different study showed a marked improvement with grapevine cuttings. To use, dip the cutting end in the gel for 2 seconds. Then, plant as you would normally. Coconut water is packed with auxins. That's because a coconut is technically a seed. But unlike other seeds that fall or are carried from the parent plant into healthy soil for growing, coconuts have to survive in sand or for months as they float across the ocean to a new home. To help them survive, coconuts contain auxins inside and a tough outer shell to protect them. They also have their own source of nutrients. You can harness this ingenious system by dipping a cutting in fresh coconut milk. 
One study even found that coconut water works just as well as synthetic rooting hormones. Another study showed a slight improvement in difficult to root Dracaena cuttings. Don't try to use canned or bottled coconut milk. It likely won't have the same effect. Worm poop is some pretty incredible stuff. On top of the many things it has going for it, which you can read about in our guide, it also has auxin-producing rhizobacteria. Studies confirm that vermicompost tea can improve root development. Soak 1 gallon of vermicompost in 4 gallons of water for 48 hours. Strain the mixture and use the liquid as a rooting hormone alternative dip for your cuttings. As with cinnamon and honey, hydrogen peroxide isn't a rooting hormone. But it helps plants develop strong roots because it acts as a disinfectant, making it a handy rooting hormone alternative or addition. Studies show that dipping an olive tree cutting in hydrogen peroxide increased rooting, which is notable since olive trees are hard to reproduce via cuttings.